If you're new to Canvas, you might find that differentiating between different ways of submitting your work can be confusing at first. But after the first couple modules, you'll get the hang of it. In the meantime, I'd like to take a moment to show you what I mean by different ways of submitting files. I'm going to use module one, assignment number three, as the example. This particular assignment asks you, for this assignment, you will submit a link to your Office 365 favorite food file that can be accessed by your instructor. So I'm going to click the start assignment. We need to give the instructor a link to things. And we can see when we get in here, and this just has to do with how Canvas is built and allowing students to submit files different ways. Most of the time in the future, you can use this Office 365 tab, which will navigate to your OneDrive on your college account, and you can find files there. You can only upload one file at a time, though, or one file to an assignment using the Office 365 tool. If the assignment requires multiple files, you'll have to use different ways of uploading. Um, and how I would do it is not actually in this one. You'd actually select the file and upload it. But in this particular assignment, we're asked to share a link. And there are two ways to do that. One with text entry, in which you'll copy and paste the link, then select the link and make it a hyperlink, or website URL. I'm going to take a moment to show you both of these ways. Here I have a tab to my OneDrive, and I can see the file that I want to share. And if we hover over that file, we get a bunch of different tools available. The quick one is this little share item, but you can also use the three dots, and that'll show us the copy link or the share or whatever. By default, all files that you save on your college OneDrive are able to be edited by anybody else in the entire Vermont State College system that has a link to it. Now, most people don't have a link to it unless you give it to them. So it's not really a problem that it's that open because within the Vermont State College system, we can rely on a fair amount of ethics to protect our files. But if you don't want people to be able to edit, like when I share documents with the class that I want people to not change because it's a starting file for their homework and they need to make their own copy, I go in and make adjustments to that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the copy link here, and that's going to put a link to that file here on my clipboard. And I can go back to the assignment, and in the text entry field, I can paste that. And Canvas has already made that a hyperlink for me. If I would like to see what the link looks like, I can click on the link options, and it'll show that the text that it gave me by default was the title of the file, and the link that it gave me was the URL or Uniform Resource Locator to the file itself. I'm going to say done because that is how I want it to be, and I'm going to hit Submit Assignment. I can see here now, after I get my confetti and pizza, what the submission details are. And I can click on Submission Details. I can see what it's going to look like to the instructor. And I can click on that, and it's going to take me to a file. Not the file we're normally going to be submitting to this, but that's okay. Then I can also resubmit the assignment using the website URL. And again, I have that URL paste it in my clipboard. I can paste it right there and choose Submit Assignment. And I can look at these submission details again, and it's going to show me the link. I can click on the link. Unfortunately, as an instructor, uh, OneDrive does not play well inside of my Canvas in the student view. But I'm pretty sure that that's going to work out okay. But it's always good for you after you submit your assignments, especially early on, to check to make sure that they're working okay. So that should help you understand the difference between those kinds of saving and sharing with your instructor.